Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the totals feature of the views. As so you've seen, I've added some columns, but I'm going to go ahead and add another column here with just some numbers. So I'll just add a number value here because, of course, you do need a number value to count on. So I'm going to do um, cost for this document. I don't have to go into the details what, what I mean by that, but I'm just going to do 10. 1,000 for that, 20,000 for that, and then I'm just going to, 2,000, okay, that's fine. And then I'm just going to drag these down so I get a lot of example data. One, all these documents have a cost associated with them in a few seconds. There we go. Stop editing. And once it's done, updating all those changes, I can create a view or modify the existing view. I'm going to modify this view and just add a total here, total. And now, of course, the cost is the one that I want to count. As you see, I can do both count, which is rather worthless, average, maximum, minimums, and sum. Sum is usually the one you want. I'm going to summarize stuff. So I'm going to click OK there. And there you see I have the 180,000 total cost of these documents. So this sum actually updates if I filter here. So as you see, I have the total cost of my invoices is 58,000. The total cost of my quotes is close there we go it's 58,002 that's the downside of doing um, example data let's see the specifications those are only 54,000 um, and of course you can uh, combine these filters with each other also and still the sum gets updated so I think that the uh, totals feature of views is, is really powerful and it's something that you really can't do in the file system so um, uh, if you have a numeric value in your columns then certainly add a um, totals calculation there that makes it all look much nicer i think so that concludes my demo on the totals feature of the sharepoint 2013 views thank you for watching this demonstration